Drugs, stolen weapons, and an indoor shooting range were all discovered this morning inside a home in East Spokane. It happened at Haven and Sprague. Three people were questioned and one man arrested for being a felon in possession of a firearm. KXY 4's Annie Bishop live with those details. Annie? And if it wasn't shocking already, all of this happening directly across the street from this elementary school. Now inside that home, police found a pile of stolen weapons, stolen property and drugs. You see firearms, you see counterfeit weapons, you see drug paraphernalia. Surrounded by a table of evidence from this morning's SWAT raid, police chief Frank Straub makes his point clear. We will not tolerate this type of activity in our in our neighborhoods. At 7.30 this morning, the SWAT team surrounded this home at 27 South Haven, then demanded the people inside come out. The raid was the culmination of a lengthy investigation and the help of informants. Today's search warrants once again demonstrates the bravery and dedication of our officers who went into a residence where they knew firearms would be present. In fact, where they knew that at least one of the individuals who lived in that house had his own indoor firing range. And yet they put their lives on the line again to reduce crime and violence in this community. Police arrested 34-year-old Kevin Chastain, a nine-time convicted felon. This is a bad actor. This is a guy who's um, a few hundred feet away from where our children are going to school. Um, again, we're not going to tolerate that kind of behavior. Police recovered four guns, a pile of counterfeit money, meth, and cell phone tower repair equipment worth $200,000. Evidence for detectives and prosecutors to build a case. Evidence Chief Straub isn't backing down. We are going out and we will be relentless in pursuing these type of individuals who threaten our children, who threaten our neighborhoods. And the police chief also adding that Chastain has ties to a white supremacy group. Nadine. Annie, what about that house? Were, uh, the people question, will they be allowed to go back? Well, the chief briefly touched on that today. He said he will be working closely with officers who patrol this area, making sure they know and are up to date on what happened inside of this house. We've seen over the past couple of weeks, though, that when these types of incidents happen where homes are raided, they find drugs and stolen weapons. Often those people living there are evicted. Not clear yet if that will happen in this case. Nadine. All right. Thanks so much, Annie.